Hello and welcome back, my name is Dave and today we got Custer of the West with Robert Shaw. Now I've got Mary Yuri, Jeffrey Hunter, Robert Ryan and uh, Kieran Moore. Now this um, is a little, like the last one I was showing you, it's a bit like, it's about, about Custer. It's more personal than uh, the previous uh, video I showed you of uh, 7th Cavalry. So this is when Custer was alive, so it makes it a bit more different. From the fury and chaos of the Civil War to the final earth-shaking charge at Little Bighorn. Robert Shaw, Custer of the West. Really nice actual picture on the front there, it's in quite good detail. And it's quite good detail because this was quite a high budget film. Now this is a real, real different but really quite intense and really quite, um, you get to know the, the General George Custer that we've been told about a bit more. It's a bit of like a, um, the history sort of lesson as it were. It's not a documentary anyway, so don't worry about that. Now this basically starts off as with Custer in the Civil War, the US Civil War between the North and the South. Um, if you don't know about the Civil War, it's about, it's kind of about slavery. You know, the North wants to abolish slavery but the South wants to keep it. Um, that's another totally different story so I won't go there at the moment, I'll just leave it there. And he sort of, because Custer does so well in the, in the Civil War, they ship him out uh, to uh, the 7th Cavalry to take over the uh, forts and the Union and to basically drive the uh, Native Americans off the uh, reservation they're on. It's basically because there's a load of gold in there, apparently, that they that some, well, someone must have found. And in the Americans, of course, people want it for themselves, so... but. At the beginning of the film, a real nice sort of open sequence. It's a real sort of high budget one. But I feel really sorry for the animals involved, because uh, if you love horses, um, we're going to have a few issues with this film. Let me explain. Uh, there's a confederacy, confederacy lined up at one end of the field. The Union are at the other, and they're giving us order the charge. And it's about the hundred say cavalry because there's a big span a big open field a huge cavalry line and they just charge towards the confederacy on horses of course anyway as they charge in cannon fire from the confederacy head over exploding everywhere you know imagine explosions all over this field uh, but rather than just stopping the horse and sort of making it fall over like you see sometimes and sort of a bit more budgeted westerns or more higher sort of and sort of budget westerns. The horse technically gets his back legs pulled or front legs pulled from underneath him and his head first into the ground. Um, the stunt people, I don't know how they prepare for such a thing, they must have mark or something, but they're basically going head first over the horses. Some, you know, fall back or fall over it or in a place because of the explosion or the bomb's gone off. But most of the horses, yeah, they get their legs ripped out by uh, the ropes and cords that have been attached to them. Because they can only run so far before the um, explosion goes off or they, uh, they get shot shot by the uh, enemy and fall over and die. Um, it is quite a shame really, I think that's a bit of a waste of animals and I think quite poorly how they got around doing it. I wish they could maybe do it a bit differently but that before my time and it is movie is a big success so it kind of gets overlooked back in the day. When I say back in the day is 1968. So, yeah, when films started becoming a bit more mainstream, I think, like a bit higher budget. But yeah, um, the Custer took the defences of the Confederacy and um, got awarded for it, so it's pretty good for him. Uh, congratulations. And then, because, yeah, like I said, they started, they, know, they realized the potential to send them out to the, um, what was this? Uh, sent out west to take over the 7th Cavalry. Uh, for political reasons, it was, because as I said, with the gold and all that had been found. Uh, he's ordered by General Sheridan. 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 So, yeah, General Sheridan sent him over and told him he has to clean up the place, run the Indians off because they want the land. So, but where the Indians got to go is quite unknown, really. He just sort of told us to move it, really. It's just, yeah. But this sort of leads up to like Custer's thinking and understanding of what's happening. Um, he gets. You know, with wife, and he gets talked to other commanders and captains, and then it, you see. I think um, in his film, he's slightly deluded um, of his own power. I think he is, and 
his own um, his own ranking I think maybe maybe pushed him over the edge a little bit towards what he's thinking because he didn't quite listen to the people he really mostly the way he seemed took it upon himself to make this sort of a little bighorn thing a big thing of chasing the Indians off the reservation a big thing uh, it's a bit of a damn shame really he, sh he should have uh, maybe used someone else around the custard but you see that it's him mobilise the troops and sort of like a bit of a training and that so and then finally go back to the battle fabulous sort of sceneries and locations they use and the fort's really nice build you know uh, all looks pretty authentic the uniform's really good the acting is really, you know, quite something as well. So it all works really nice. The budget is really good, like I said, and it's really sort of paid off for me in this film. And it really does stand out. Uh, I do quite enjoy this. It's one of my favourites on the western side. The inside, you've got nothing really particular. There's a disc, and you race in the back. Uh, there, oh, maybe it's in the back, yeah. So quite nice, simple layout. Uh, a couple of pictures there from the back, and yeah, the picture quality in this is really quite nice. I do like, yeah, like I said, the door on the front, so... I have to recommend it. I do recommend this film. If you get the time, please check it out. You can pick this up pretty cheaply from your um, DVDs or store. Um, you know, the mouths or sort of shops sort of thing. If not online, you can definitely pick it up for a few quid. I do, re I do recommend though, hitting up to your local shops first. But no. Cluster of the West, I highly recommend and good night yourself out. So thanks very much for watching and I will let him charge towards you. Bye bye.